After riding in the rain and muck on your road bike, especially on your mountain bike, you may want to clean this rear derailleur cable. You can do that without removing the cable. We'll shift to the largest cog in the back and the smallest chain ring. Without moving the crank, shift to your highest gear. You can now also remove the cable and housing from the chainstay, wipe down any dirt or grime on the cable itself, replace cable and housing, and keep your shifting in top performance. If you happen to have a bicycle where the cables run through a cable guide under the bottom bracket, don't forget to periodically clean those. I use a toothbrush to clean out any dirt or grime. Some people suggest a drop of dry lube or Shimano grease, but I feel that that tends to pick up more dirt and grime and decrease shifting performance. If you have other suggestions on this, please comment below. Place a small piece of tape right above the seat post clamp at the height you normally will ride. This will allow us to either remove the seat post for maintenance or raise it to place it on our repair stand and allow us to return it to our riding level without taking any further measurements. When placing a bike on a repair stand, always clamp it by the seat post. This will prevent damage to either any cables or scratches damage to the paint job or if it's carbon fiber damage to the carbon fiber. In adjusting seat tilt, find a level surface. Use a carpenter's level. Adjust the seat until the bubble is right in the center. From here you can take it out for a ride and using a carpenter level make slight adjustments so the bubble is further back or forward depending on how comfortable you are on the seat. Some floor pumps with the dial on the base are a little difficult to read and this little movable dial which you're supposed to set so you can see the correct pressure often moves around and gets misplaced. So what I have done is I placed a tiny little piece of white tape exactly where I want the bicycle tire pressure to be. I find it easier to see when I'm pumping and I like to pump my front tire just below that mark and my back tire just above. Let me know if you have other tips or ideas or hacks that you'd like me to include in this series. This is Tony Tony 10 Speed, Safe Cycling.